Guys, you know she's bad at me. She's gonna break over me, break over me over a pig. Shh, I look good here. Hey guys. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am filming in a very awkward position as you can see, but I will be reviewing the new Fenty Beauty Concealer. Don't mind the guy in the background. It's just straight. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm going to be reviewing the powder and the concealer. So stay tuned and I'll give you my honest opinion. I am filming in my boyfriend's living room and I don't have my ring light or my backdrop stuff with me so this is a setting I apologize for his mess I am in front of the window so I think you guys should be fine and should be able to see everything um, I already have my eyebrows on my foundation I went in with my Dior backstage uh, foundation it's been my favorite recently and I just noticed that I forgot to bring my sponges because lately I haven't been using sponges to apply my foundation I used a Morphe brush and I have my brushes with me but I forgot a sponge I'm so sorry so I'm gonna be reviewing the concealer with this on I'm gonna go in with the concealer and I got the shade 185 um, I do have the foundation and I know they say to go two shades lighter but my foundation was a little tan for me so I didn't really go by that but if you guys didn't know that you have that option you just go two shades lighter with the concealer and it should be a perfect fit. I actually got the shade 185 because I want a bright eye and then I read online that these are brightening so we'll see what it does. The applicator is my favorite type of applicator. It's this little wand. Oh, yes, it's definitely going to be brighter than me, which I'm not mad at. I'm going in with a pretty generous amount. I'm going to put some here. And just a little here. I don't ever really highlight my forehead, but today I will. I'm so mad I don't have my, my sponge with me because this would blend a lot smoother. It's very thick, very creamy. I went in with a lot. So, um, just to give you guys a tip, a little goes a long way. Definitely brightening. But as for the formula, it's good. It's full coverage. You guys can tell. You can see that. Definitely brightening. And you get so many options. So, make sure you test out a few before you actually purchase it. Because there's just so many. I don't see any creasing at all, which is cool. Um, it's just my blending isn't the best because I'm missing my sponge. Every time I get on here, it's something wrong with my nail. Like this, oh, I'm not trying to flip you guys off. Like this one broke. So it's been on for a minute and I don't see any creasing at all, which is great. Now let's go in and set this with the powder. I'm going to use this Real Technique brush. I actually really love this brush for powder and I use it to set my under eye whenever I'm in a rush. This is what the powder looks like. It's a gray top and then it's just clear at the bottom. Looks like you get tons of product, which I love because this is pretty pricey. I think this is $34. Uh, let's see how much product it has. 28 grams. That's not bad at all. Um, and then the box, what does it claim? Light as air setting photo soft finish for all. Apply with powder puff. Nah. Not down. Okay. Um, I picked up the shade Banana. There's one beneath this. It's the shade Lavender. But I don't know. I was kind of afraid. And I know Banana is also brightening. So I went with that. No creasing. That's crazy. It's been on for a minute. What I'm noticing is this is super thick. Like really thick. I don't know if you guys mind. I personally prefer a more lightweight powder. Um, this is super thick. I think that this should work really well on oily skin but if you have dry skin I wouldn't go in with too much um, I'm over here contradicting myself because I'm doing everything I'm telling you not to do it smells a lot like the airspun powder and I personally hate the smell it smells like talcos like like senora I don't know if you guys mind that I mean, if I like how my face looks then okay I'll keep using it but I'm going to take my Morphe brush and just lightly look how bright my under eye looks though. I actually really like this. Let me finish up the rest of my face and based off that I'll give you my final thoughts and I want to see how it looks with bronzer and everything.
don't mind my roots I need my Brazilian touch up just gonna lightly dust that across my cheeks all right so now I'm going to set my face with my morphe setting mist I honestly love her gloss so much the first one will always be my favorite but today I'm gonna go in with her newest shade fussy let me just line my lip really quick I'm using the morphe lip liner in the shade in the shade spiffy I love their lip liners they are so good and of course I am overlining is that even a question I'm a new person sorry Feel like a brand new person. Alright, so my final thoughts on the concealer and the powder. They definitely took me out of my comfort zone a little just because I like more lightweight concealers, lightweight powders, and these both are pretty thick. But once they're on, they don't look or feel thick at all. It's actually very comfortable. It looks really pretty. But the main reason why I love this concealer and I highly recommend it is because of the shade range. Because I finally got that like bright under eye look that I've been wanting for such a long time. I'm not shading my Laura Mercier concealer. I love the formula. It's great. It just doesn't have a wide enough variety in order for me to really go in and like highlight and give my face dimension with the bronzer and the highlight so for that reason alone i totally recommend fenty beauty concealer i feel like everyone should have a highlight shade and their perfect shade to correct or whatever you want to use the concealer for so yeah guys um and as for the powder it's great too i just don't like the smell that's it it's not a big deal it's just a smell as long as it looks good like i'm not complaining but yeah guys thank you so much for watching my review these were my honest thoughts check the products out yourself let me know what you think in the comments down below let's talk makeup and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel i love you guys and i'll see you on my next video bye guys i love you Rihanna.